Hi everyone, CJ Dore here, back with some more stock market education from the shareprices.com.au studios. What we're looking at this time are long-term candlestick patterns. In particular, we're going to try and find a resistance line. Now, it's a very important thing, and it indicates a price that your shares reach before they bounce off and start to come back down again. So let's go to shareprices.com.au. Long-term view, it is a long-term indication, and it's over a number of months. Now, what we're going to try and find is that price that we get up to before it stops, falls away, and goes back and hits it again. Now, let's see how we start over the left-hand side. Starts to build up falls away, then on a good rally it starts to come back up again. Let's draw a line across there because what we know for the first time is it's hit a particular price and then it's bounced off and look it creates a little V there, goes back up again. Now when it hits that exact same or virtually identical share price for a second time, you then have your resistance line or your resistance level. Then it starts to come back down again. Now if you were to watch this maybe over another month or so and it went back up and touched it again and come back, you know that your resistance line or level is still in place. But on this occasion it's fallen away and it's tried it again and it comes back to about here. Now clearly that's below that line if it were to come all the way across. So it just can't get up and reach it again. Now in this case it could be considered a bearish indicator because it starts to fall away. Perhaps it's lost a little bit of hope of really going up and testing that again. If it did go up and test it again and it burst right through, that would be a bullish indicator because it's broken the trend. Now this is over a few months, but this resistance line could last even over a year view. So that's why it's a long-term pattern and you could note that it comes up and reaches those sort of say $25 or $45 or $80 and it just can't go any higher and comes back down. There you would know you've hit your resistance line or resistance level again. On this occasion, we've gone up there, we've tested it twice, just can't make it. So there, we've locked in place our resistance line. Now, once we move off the chart and into the future, it could go back again. So keep an eye out. Make sure you're very aware of what that price is that it's gone up and hit. Note it down. Make sure you're aware because if it gets to it again, it's either going to go burst through and then on the way up, or it's going to come back down again. And there, you definitely know you've got your resistance level or your resistance line. And that is what the resistance level is all about. So go to shareprices.com.au now. See if you can spot a resistance line over a long-term view. Could be a month, three months, maybe half a year, maybe a year. See if you can spot that common theme of that price that it gets up to before it just falls away and can't go any higher. I'm CJ Dort with some more stock market education from the shareprices.com.au studios.